So, um, just a brief primer about how this is going to go. This is for you. Me talking here isn't going to do much for me. I talk to myself all the time. So, uh, if you have a question in the middle of me speaking, feel free to get my attention. Throw something at me, whatever you need to do. Throw beads at me. Those are all from Louisiana. Um, never know what I'm going to do. It is college. So, anyway, check it out. What we want to go over today is something you might not get a lot of. I mean, a lot of you guys, you gotta know, how many of you guys want to own your own business one day? Okay, cool. How many of you guys are, I don't know, interested in marketing yourself in the marketplace and also externally? Let's say marketing yourself in business functions. Like, let's say in your industry, you're known. How many people think that's a big part of what you're gonna do when you grow up? Yeah, of course, it is. It's huge. Networking is everything in business, no matter what your profession. You know, my brother's in digital marketing, yet in the industry, he has to deal with marketing himself within his market, within his business. So what we're going to go over is just real world stuff. Well, some textbook stuff, well, some cool stuff, some positioning discussion, some differentiation. We're going to go over real world stuff. And again, if there's something I don't hit on, please feel free to interject, interrupt, and get my attention. Everybody cool? If you need to stop me between slides or whatever, Slides are just there for direction, but the conversation can go anywhere. So who the hell am I? Right now, I'm Chief Marketing Officer of TigerFitness.com, CEO of MTS Nutrition and Ethitech Nutrition, Vice President of AMBS, which is the American Natural Bodybuilding Federation, and the partner, as he said, of Hollywood Militia Fitness Coaching. Um, prior to that, I owned a company called Cybation. We had a product called Extend, which created the intro workout category through, of course, positioning, differentiation, and the fact it's a really cool, effective product. Um, everybody familiar with that? Any questions about those two things? Cool? Before that, I was founding shareholder of Instone, where my business partner was Sylvester Stallone. Um, before that, I was in publishing. I worked for Weeder Publications, who was acquired by American Media, where I worked for um, different magazines, starting with Muscle Fitness and Flex, and then moving into the Inquirer and the Star, where I handled a lot of uh, business dealings, Toyota and Nissan, basically corporate buys within the magazine, also helped with their overall marketing. Uh, I'm a pro bodybuilder and I'm a husband and father of three. I'm not married to the children, I'm a husband and I'm also a father of three. <laughs> For any of you guys from West Virginia. <coughs> so let's get started. A lot of my marketing theories are based on two gentlemen called, well, named Al Rees and Jack Trout. Who has read any Rees and Trout books? Awesome. Okay, there's a book called Positioning, go buy it tomorrow. Go on Amazon, download it, do whatever you can, get the audiobook. It is, and they also have positioning yourself. Now, positioning is basically saying that like any tangible good or service, you need a memorable, differentiating, differentiating position within the marketplace. Now, we can have examples. For, okay, let me just put, boom, you. Starbucks, first thing that comes to mind. What differentiates them? I guess the logo, I don't know. Okay. I guess right. Okay, Nordstrom, Southwest, Walmart. But if you go to a Starbucks, like, man, I went to Starbucks and I had this. Great service. You ever think great service? Nordstrom, same thing. Walmart, they're based on more of a price angling, more bargains, things like that. So Southwest, another service-based company. So what they've done is they've created, carved a niche in that market for their position. Their position is, boom, uh, our position is the best at blank. So your position would be, what would you be good at? And that's where you get into how you can do that internally and externally. Internal means, how do you position yourself within marketing groups, business gatherings, LinkedIn, anywhere. You can basically position yourself and get yourself out there through those, so through those things within the given marketplace. So let's say you're involved in an advertising group on LinkedIn. It's a little group. That's one way to identify yourself within that. There's also Facebook groups of that. And externally, social media is great to kind of get your name out there, and it's free. Now, as a, just an example, what would be my position within my industry? A lot of people don't know this. Internally, within the sport nutrition industry, I'm known as a utility infielder, meaning that no matter what there is, I've done it and can do it with proficiency, be it manufacturing, be it selling, be it buying, be it marketing, writing ad copy. Basically, I've been involved in enough facets of the industry to be able to do that. Where externally, 
my position would be, as any of you who, who know of me, a pro bodybuilder that balances business and family. Would that be kind of correct? How if you said, okay, Mark Lobliner versus Evan Sinabon, or this and that, how would I position against him if you were to think? How would I be memorable? It's like, oh, that guy kind of balances this stuff. So that would be my position within the industry. Now, finding your position, what makes you special? I mean, what would be the way you, what makes you different? What makes you special and different from your peers? You given any thought about that? Like as you're going through saying, you know what? I do this really well. What made Bill Gates special? What made Steve Jobs special? What made those guys special? How did they position themselves and stand out in the marketplace? You know, is there any, um, I don't know, celebrity or personality you'd follow? Have you thought about why you do that? What their position is? Why you would follow them? What makes them special? And you have to position yourself within the industry to do that. So one thing is, how do you differentiate? Have you ever given thought to how you're gonna differentiate yourself in the industry? Say you're starting your own business, going to exercise science. For example, we're talking about you, and what you want to do moving forward, correct? Now, have you thought about with this business, what's going to differentiate you from everybody else? Rather, let's say I'm coming out with a new something. I'm coming out with a pre-workout. At TigerFitness.com, we carry 70 of them right now. Why would someone buy that pre-workout over the other 70 on the market? So, those are things you need to concern yourself with when starting a business or when positioning yourself is how am I different? How am I going to differentiate myself? Um, what are a lot of the major exercise science? Okay. What are you guys looking to do with exercise science? You. What do you uh, think? I'm still trying to figure that out. I'm a freshman right now. So okay. Any any upperclassmen? What do you want to do? And anybody in there? Yep. Sports psychology. Sports psychology. Now, what do you want to do with that degree? Um, so you've done it. Yes. So see, there would be when he's let's say he's looking for an internship or a job. Your way to kind of differentiate is that you've actually done it. Anybody else with a degree, a different kind of degree? Yeah. Nutrition dietetics. Okay. Now, what are you looking to do with that? Are you looking to start your own business? Or are you looking to? At first, I want to do something. You know, like kind of work. Kind of work. Okay. At one point, I'm probably going to do something like, you know, like, you know, people in a poverty position, you know, mm -hmm. like, kind of be able to, like, open up my own gym at some point, and then maybe, like... Like a commercial style gym? Yeah, or well, not really commercial, like, I'm not my own, you know what I'm saying? Like, okay. Like, you know, like, personal home thing. Like, where I can follow them, like, nutrition, like, you know, get the, get the like, weight goals, like, whatnot, or, mm -hmm. you know, stuff like that. Just, but it's more for just, like, people in poverty areas. Mm -hmm. It's not really like comfortable, but comfortable, but... But it's what you want, it's what you yeah, want to yeah. do to follow your dream. Yeah. That's happening. And the thing is, that's one way to help people out. And you kind of set yourself apart from your competition. Like, how is a doctor, for example, if I'm a doc the doctor did put my stomach back in, how does he differentiate? Well, he does really risky, weird ab surgeries. That's a cool differentiating point. You know, you specialize in X. What's your specialty? What separates you, rather than just, look, have you, you guys been to monster.com yet? You know, the job search. Have you ever looked at how many freaking people are looking for jobs? Okay. Now, what on your resume can you have on there to actually make them look at your resume? What's going to catch their eye? I'll tell you right now, for me, it's not starting a company. For me, it's working with Sylvester Stallone. Unfortunately, that differentiates me. But the thing is, you want to do something to differentiate. So even though that was a complete freaking bust, like the coolest thing I have. I mean, and then you gotta find out if, let's say you found that passion, you found your position, <laughs> is it marketable? Can you get out there and market that? Can you beat the streets and deliver that message? A lot of times, you can have the best product or service or the best ability in the world. I've known a lot of really talented people who are broke. The thing is, can you translate that and market yourself? Can you deliver that message? And how will you deliver that message? Are you the kind of person who can deliver that message, both interpersonally and publicly? 
And again, we get back to differentiate, differentiating. We kind of went over this before, but why would someone listen, do business, hire, talk, or make out? <laughs> Think about it like dating. I mean, I, I know, this is college, I'm bringing it back, I sound like that old guy trying to be hip. I understand that. But you haven't seen my clothes. I got really mad swag. I mean, I, I, I kick it hard, dog. But check it out. So, let's say you're dating a girl. I mean, what, what makes you choose that other person? Why, what's your, what's your point of friendship? Is it the way you dress? Is it the way you approach them? Is it your swagger? Is it your smell? I mean, dudes, you know, chicks can smell good. You're like, man, that girl smelled good. Girls can work out for two hours and still smell good. I walk down the street, I smell like a freaking toilet, man. <laughs> so that's the thing, let's bring it down into that. You gotta think, bring it down simplicity. What makes you special? And can it be marketable? What makes you marketable? You and yourself. And then I'm gonna go into an actual guy. Hired, you guys ever hear of Lane Norton? 